Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Nitej, and this is episode 15 of Interesting JavaScript Library of the Week series. In this video, I will show you a JavaScript tool which can be used to quickly generate a unique avatar for your users. That library is multi avatar. So avatars are those images and sometimes 3D objects which we use for real or virtual people in a variety of applications. Normally when we have such a requirement, then we either use a predefined single avatar image or at most we pick a random image from a bunch of saved images. What multi avatar does is it allows to generate highly random avatar images based on the string value of username or maybe any other identifiable string value. On its GitHub page, it describes that it uses just six parts of an avatar and combine them together using different colors to generate nearly 12 billion combinations of avatars. That does sounds a lot and could be helpful in having truly random avatars for our applications. So how to use this library? Well, you can use multi avatar in a variety of different ways. If you want to generate an avatar for a web page, then you can link to the script using a script tag. For this purpose, you can either download the script or use a CDN URL. Or for a node application, you can execute the command npm install and then multi avatar. But if you are only interested in getting the SVG image of an avatar based on a name, then you can just navigate to its website, enter the name and then download it. I was able to easily set up a basic code to use this script and get avatars based on a text input. So here is an input and here is a div container in which I am going to add the SVG element for the newly created avatar. When it comes to the JavaScript code, then we just need a string value and then we supply this as an argument to the multi avatar function. What this will do is this will return a string which is the string of a new SVG element. We can set that string value directly as the inner HTML for our div SVG container. Let's see this code in action. So I'm just going to open up this page using the live server extension of Visual Studio Code. Here is our input text box and I can put in any name or any string value to get a unique avatar. So this is how I should look according to this library. But this also depends on the case of the characters because the character is going to be different when it is in lowercase and when it is in uppercase. Similarly, we can put in more names. So Steve Rogers apparently look like a girl, but you get the idea, right? We can generate a wide range and variety of avatars based on unique string values. And this is how easy it is to use this library within our JavaScript code. And that would be everything there is for this video. If you want to explore multi avatar, then you can either navigate to its GitHub page or you can use its website directly. If you like this video, then please place a like on it. Also subscribe to this channel for more such videos. I'm Nitej and I will see you next time. Till then stay safe and have fun.